In this video, I'm going to show you how to nest or place pages under parents using WordPress. Now, the reason you want to do this is you basically want, um, for example, right here we have this, uh, this example website. Now, if I click on Dental Crowns, you'll see that it's located at Utah St. George Dental Crowns. So it's not just Dental Crowns, it actually has the name of the state and the city in the URL itself. Now remember that Google and other search engines they like to see keywords in the URL that shows them that it has importance. So if we're placing them in a parent type fashion then it's easily done uh, to where we can show them exactly uh, what uh, keywords we want to have. It also shows them that Utah is an individual keyword and that St. George is another individual keyword and that those are actually um, important to this as well so that they can actually see that, that there is a, a, a certain chain of how it goes that this is a, a basically that all this information is located in Utah and all this information is located in St. George. So we're basically telling it that not only are these good keywords but we're actually categorizing this right here we're placing it under St. George and we're placing that under Utah so that Google actually sees that structure and they can actually say okay this is a, a Utah page but it's also a St. George page so we're actually kind of defining that now if we had multiple locations then this would be a great way to do it as well that we could actually say okay the this information is under this particular location and this information is under this particular location so hopefully that makes sense to you so now that with that being said I'm going to show you how it's done Okay, so it's pretty simple to do. Really all you do is you create a page and I actually like to have some information on that page and you can tell about your state, you can give some information about it and then I also like to have some information about the city so that they actually have content on them. And then all you need to do is, for example, you, the first thing you do is you'd go into St. George, uh, which is in my example here, and I would make sure that the parent is selected right here. So all I would do is just choose that parent and then uh, that's already been saved, so I don't need to, to do it. And then uh, for everything else, I would just make sure that that has a parent of St. George, which you can see I've already done that here. And that's all there is to it. And once you do that, then it will um, put those into that nested uh, URL. Now, one quick little warning. If you haven't already done this and you've had your website established, it's been established for more than you know four or five months, uh, Google has already crawled your website and they already know the, you know the structure of your website you could actually hurt yourself by doing this and what you want to do is make sure you install a plugin that allows you to do a 301 redirect so you'll put in the old URL and then you'll put in the new URL so as Google tries to go to the old URL which might be you know the the dot com slash dental crowns um, they'll be redirected to the new one, Utah St. George Dental Crowns. Um, Google loves 301 redirects. We're actually telling them, hey, forget the old stuff. The new stuff is here. And a lot of times they'll just pass along that whole entire juice, especially if the page is exactly the same and everything. They'll pass along that SEO juice to the new page and everything should be fine. Just make sure you take care of it so that uh, Google knows you know that it is a, the same page it's just been changed you also want to be periodically checking your 301s anyway so just a little reminder